before I reveal the new monsters for the 1200 gallon pond, <laughs> they're already in there. Let's take a look at what we already have for it. Oh, there's the little Baisha there. Isn't he adorable? He's gonna become a monster. <laughs> <laughs> so is that giant Garami poking her head out or his head out from behind that sponge filter. This is just a holding tank and grow out tank. These guys are already eating. I'm able to actually feed these guys the right amount, meaning I feed them until they stop eating. I know that I'm not feeding too much or too little. We're doing it two to three times a day. We're gonna get them nice and big, a feeding video uh, coming up eventually. Well, shortly, really. I also wanna talk about plans for after everybody outgrows this 1200 gallon pond because let's not make no mistake about it all of these fish are going to eventually outgrow it if i keep them all type of deal okay enough talk i'm gonna go grab the fish let's open them up these are one of my favorite and i was really lucky to just see them in time before they sold these sizes sell relatively quickly but the reason why i wasn't able to get big peacock bass from the beginning from the pond is because one, I can't just go out and catch them, toss them into my aquariums. Two, they are relatively expensive, especially the shipping. You can only fit one to maybe three in a box and even then the shipping costs are astronomically high. It's not practical for many people to bring them in to sell in the first place. Now, they've been in these bags for probably a solid 18 hours or so. So I hope they're okay. So this will make three species of peacock bass that will eventually be in the pond. All right. Oh, yeah. So it looks like one of the bags. Oh boy. So I have no clue how I'm going to get them out of here. I'm going to do my best to not let them, not mix this water in with my aquarium water, but I might not, I might have no choice. These guys are so big. So the bag definitely broke, which is, it's leaking. It's not broken. Oh boy. <laughs> you guys see them? They're pretty big. Hopefully they're doing okay. See if I can open this. Oh. Oh, aren't they beauties? Look at that. They're gorgeous. Can you see them? Okay. Oh wow, they're gorgeous. Now the water in the bag and the aquarium were pretty close. I typically like to temperature acclimate first and go from there. However, uh, with it being so close and these guys being so big, I think it was just best to get them out of those bags as soon as possible. Let's see how they act. They're pretty docile right now. Um, they're not big enough to eat the uh, the red tail catfish, so that's good. All right, guys, come on out. <laughs> you guys think you're big till you get this big old tank. On. Yes, now we can actually see fish. Well, once we shut the pump off. Okay, let's keep it going. They're all lined up and ready to go. You guys ready? I think we've got, uh, we've probably got a male and two females right there. Male in the middle. All right, guys, time to go. You're free now. Enjoy your tank I made for you. Go to your friends. Yes. I gotta shut the filter off so we can see everybody. Yes, look at them, what I tell ya? I gotta get the underwater camera here in a second, but man, it looks like they're kind of all hanging out. There's four over there, two here, and then of course the uh, red tail cats are in there somewhere. There's no way these guys are eating those red tail cats. Uh, and we're still filling the tank as well. I don't think I'm gonna fill it all the way. I'll put a few more inches in it just because these guys might be a little jumpy uh, at first. Oh wow, isn't that amazing? Oh my, I love it. What do you guys think? Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. 
This is truly going to be a monster aquarium or monster pond at least at some point. Uh, we've got about three feet of water in here already and that tank is nice and clear. You guys can clearly see them. But yeah, we're gonna get that underwater footage here in a second. I'm just rambling on and enjoying them with you for right now. I think this tank is gonna be absolutely stunning. The, the shade there over here is just from these lids, so it looks a little weird. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Oh, I love it. Now imagine um, six of these full grown, 18 to 24 inches long, three different species touch the surface of the water and they go absolutely bananas. Then if you're not careful, we've got the red tail catfish that are going to grow to like three, four feet long. Got to watch your hand in there because it just might grab you and take you in. Then of course that big grumpy looking giant gourami. Oh man, I'm telling you this tank is going to be absolutely phenomenal if we just have a bit of patience. Me getting these guys is not having patience. Although, if these guys were available at the time I wanted the bass, I certainly would have got these guys first, 100%. Uh, looks like one is a little bit tipsy. Isn't that absolutely amazing? I 100% love it. We got one that's kind of dark. That's kind of just, you yeah, look right here, you can see him. Maybe he's just blending into his surroundings because he's a bit nervous. But we're minutes into this aquarium, and I don't know if you can see the colors in these fish or not, but in my opinion, they're absolutely stunning for just being, you know, gone through the shipping process and added right away. Yeah, I hope he does okay. I'm sure if we just aerate the water and get everything up and running, he'll be just fine. The others as well. So these guys, in my opinion, are probably around the one year old range. And then over here, maybe they're just a couple of months old. But this is the size they are at one year, and we're gonna be able to watch those guys develop over time. Now on the topic of size, we've got a couple more species that get relatively big. Now if these are exactly what we think they are, Tamensis, uh, as well as Paquiti. The Paquiti, I believe, gets to about uh, around 18 inches in length. The Tamensis, however, gets to, well, reports say up to about 40 inches in length. Let me put this into perspective. The bass in here right now are about 12 to maybe 14 inches in length. However, they're gonna get to two feet in length, 24 inches. Seems a little bit bigger once you kind of do it with, you know, the hand thing, uh, as opposed to saying it, but two feet in length, just absolute beasts. Those, those Paquiti, of course, only getting maybe to 18 inches, maybe a little more, 20 inches, maybe a little more, a little less. Those Tamensis, though, 40 inches long, potentially. Of course, that would take years to get there, but you understand where I'm coming from at this point. We're gonna have some absolute monsters. And like I said, this is only 1,200 gallons. This is gonna be fantastic for them, probably for another year, maybe two years, maybe even longer. Depends on how quickly everybody grows and the water quality and compatibility, et cetera, et cetera. But eventually, we're going to have to expand the 2,000 gallon aquarium. So obviously what the plans were, and we talked about this in a past video, is we would potentially remove the panel here, of course, remove all the fish, remove this, and build this tank out another 10 feet. Just let them swim directly through this hole in from one to another. In the 2000 gallon aquarium, we have three Asian arowana and five freshwater stingrays. The lights are off in this tank right now, but you get the idea. Absolutely gorgeous tank though, isn't it? But there you have it folks. We now have some true monsters in the aquarium. These are actually the biggest fish that I've ever shipped in. And you know, I know some people have obviously uh, gotten bigger fish in the past or, you know, ship this or ship that. But I'm talking me in my area. I'm up in Nova Scotia, Canada, the furthest Northern East you can go pretty much. Uh, and, and transportation costs and availability uh, are high and low type of deal. So low availability, high costs. I do know that in the near future, once these guys do settle in and I get them eating and hitting the surface like I want to, we're certainly going to film that. So if that's something you want to see, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos either. Oh, also, uh, what was it I was going to say? 
Oh, we hit a million subscribers last night. We'll address that shortly. <laughs>